What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk all about chatterbaits. Rod, reel, line, all the setups I like to use for chatterbaits. Everybody's got a different opinion on this. And to me, there's not just one rod that's an all-purpose chatterbait rod. You gotta kind of dial it in to what exactly you're doing with the chatterbait. So let's dive in, check out all the different setups that I use for a chatterbait. <laughs> All right, so one of the most popular ways to throw a chatterbait would be in some offshore hydrilla. I absolutely love it. That's one of my favorite ways to fish. Find some offshore hydrilla in anywhere from, say, six to 10 feet. Chatterbait's gonna be an absolute killer. So there's two different rods I like to throw in that. Um, first here is the new favorite hex. This is the 7.5 medium heavy. I got a Soleus XCS 7.3 to 1. All the reels on these setups are going to be 7.3 to 1. That's about the proper speed that you want to be moving your chatterbait. Um, it's not going to move it too fast. It's going to give it the right action. It's going to keep it in the strike zone, keep it down where you want it, be able to catch those bass. So, with this rod right here, I'm throwing a half ounce jackhammer. And this rod is so sensitive that it allows me to almost drag the bait super slow and just watch the rod tip vibrate. So I'm able to use this rod to fish extremely slow and I can detect those light bites whenever they just come up and, and push the chatterbait at you. You can, you can feel it when it stops vibrating and you're able to catch those fish. Also, it has a pretty fast tip, so it allows me to snap that chatterbait out of the hydrilla. If you were using a softer rod, like a glass rod, which I do use for different circumstances, it doesn't quite snap out of the hydrilla as well. So that's why I go with the favorite hex. Definitely bigger than one of your small ones. Well, yeah. That one will help a little bit. Hey. That's, that's two pounds, at least. Whenever I upgrade to a little bit deeper water and throw the three quarter ounce chatterbait, I switch over to the favorite Emperor 7.6 medium heavy. So this has a very similar action to the hex. Same reel, Soleus XCS 7.3 to 1. All of these reels are spooled up with 15 pound Seaguar and Vizex. 15 pound is the perfect line size to keep your bait down. Still strong enough to snap it out of that grass and if you hook up with a big one you're not going to break them off. Uh, so those are my two main hydrilla setups. Like we're out here in the middle of the Lake Griffin right now. I've been using these two setups to probe around in, in some of this offshore hydrilla. So those are my hydrilla setups. Now I got two more chatterbait rods that I use. Let's go to a little bit different environment. So the next rod that I'm going to throw a chatterbait on is for when I'm fishing around tight cover. You know, like this dock back here, if I'm skipping under. Under marinas, 
thrown around shallow wood, something like that, where I need to make per real precise roll cast and get that bait into tight quarters. I dropped down to a, a favorite big sexy 7.2 medium heavy. So it's a little bit shorter rod, allows me to get those real precise casts to be able to skip the bait well. You know, a chatterbait skips really well. You just gotta have it on the proper rod. So I, again, I usually stick with a 3 8 or a half ounce chatterbait on there. Stick with the jackhammer as usual. Soleus XCS reel, 7.3 to 1, 15 pound Seaguar Invisex. And again, this is the rod I'm using when I'm in tight quarters, having to skip the bait. This little bit shorter rod really allows me to get a good skip, get up underneath those docks and uh, yank out. All right, so we covered the first three rods. There's one more rod that I like to use for chatterbait and now a completely different situation. Now, this rod here, is the Phantom Fat Glass Cranking Rod. So this is a composite glass rod. It's extremely moderate and it really allows the bait to load up and uh, allow you to not rip the chatter bait away from fish. Um, and the situation when I use this rod would be when the bass are spawning. Not a lot of people think about a chatter bait as a spawning bass bait, but Whenever you're getting some shallow milfoil, eelgrass, lily pads like we have here, that's when I'm switching to this fat glass cranking rod for my chatterbait. So the deal with that is, is whenever they're spawning, a lot of times they'll just come up and nip at it. They won't really swallow it fully on the initial bite. They'll just swipe at it. And if you're using your standard graphite rod, you can rip that bait out of the fish's mouth before he really sucks it in the rest of the way. So that's when the glass rod really comes into play and allows you to, to land those couple extra bites whenever a bass is spawning. So a lot of times you can get out into a, a, a flat like this, there's some lily pads, there's some targets to cast at, but those bass are actually spawning and you can catch them on a moving bait like a chatterbait. They think it's just some type of predator coming in to uh, attack their nest. So that's when you switch to the glass rod right here. I usually like to throw the three ace chatterbait on uh, this rod because like I said, I'm usually fishing a little shallower and I'm usually fishing for spawning fish. So you don't want a bait that's, that's uh, real heavy because you're not really fishing that deep. So. That's pretty much it though. That's the four rods that I'm using for a chatterbait and the four or five different situations that I use them for. Um, if I had to pick one all around perfect rod for the chatterbait, um, it would have to be the Big Sexy. I understand not everybody can has the opportunity to have four different rods for a chatterbait or uh, you even don't want four rods for a chatterbait. If you had to pick one right here, the Big Sexy 7.2 Medium Heavy, that would be your best all around rod. You could use it for all those different situations, but I just wanted to give you guys a rundown on what I feel like is the best rod for each situation when throwing a chatterbait. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I appreciate you. I really do. I, if you watched this to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Um, leave any likes and comments below. I want to hear what your chatterbait setup is. So drop it down in the comments. I will read every single comment that's ever posted on one of my videos. So love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you think.